Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to talk about something interesting and that is some theories that came about in the 19th and uh, 20th centuries but mostly in the 19th century by some western scholars who claim that the ancient Iranians were Nordic Europeans originally and were most similar to western Europeans and the most notable of these individuals was, was Arthur de Gobineau and Gobineau came to claim that the ancient Iranians were a Nordic people who later hybridized with the native Iranian people then were sorry who later replaced the native Iranian people completely exterminated them and that Iran was a Nordic country up until the Arab invasion and this is not true and in this video I just like to debunk Arthur de Gobineau using scientific and genetic evidence and my genetic evidence will show that this never happened and that the uh, native Iranians were never the were never replaced completely by the Aryans they were not pure. The Aryans who arrived to Iran were not pure Nordics. They were hybrids between BMAC and uh, the uh, Andronos and Tashtala and Srubnaya peoples. But anyways, in this video, I'd like to discuss how these native peoples of the BMAC culture and these native peoples of the Iranians were absorbed by the arriving Aryans who were already mixed themselves by the time they got to Iran. By the time of the Persian Empire, they were already mixed. And I'll use genetic and scientific evidence to prove that this this the this false theory and claim by Arthur de Gobineau that the ancient Persians were mixed with Arabs and were eliminated is wrong and is not true. So yeah, please look forward to this video and please do share, like, share and subscribe. So firstly, the first uh, evidence here is this PCA. And in this PCA, you can clearly see that ancient and modern Iranians cluster together. The early Iranian clusters with the Yagnobi peoples and the two ancient Iranian samples we have one from Tape Hassanlu and one from northwestern Iran from Haji Firuz and Achaemenid era median sample both cluster with contemporary Iranians and not with Nordic Europeans. This shows that there is a great deal of genetic continuity in Iran since the Iron Age. And next up, I'll just discuss the history and this hybridization and how it took fold. The Proto-Indo-Europeans were Nordic populations. They were the Andronos, Sintashtra and Strubnaya peoples and they were derived from the Yamnaya culture and the Corded Ware culture and these individuals were mostly Nordic. They were around 100% Nordic ancestry and these Nordic individuals were settled in the northern steppes of what is today Kazakhstan and they were 100% Nordic but what most scientists and scholars today fail to realize is that these Nordics later when they entered the BMAC horizon which was heavily populated by a very advanced and highly agriculturalized uh, farmers and uh, very settled peoples of the BMAC culture they mixed with them on impact and this is there's a great deal of evidence for this there's the recent studies that came out on this and there's also a lot of genetic evidence proving that this hybridization took place as with the early Iranians so the early Iranians were around 52 percent Androno and 47 percent BMAC derived and that's quite remarkable and shows that there was a great deal of admixture with the native population of the BMAC culture as well as the Androno step pastoralists. These steppe pastoralists later went on into Iran and had mixed with the native farmers of the Iranian cultures with the natives on impact and by the time of the Persian Empire they were already admixed as shown in the Persian friezes as well as in the Persian depictions of Persian arts of the ancient Persians and Medians and we have a Median sample and we have a Hurrian sample and both show great affinity to modern Iranians and not to Nordic Europeans so yeah this is just another evidence that the ancient Iranians were not Nordic Europeans and that the Proto-Indo-Iranians did mix with the people of the BMAC culture and this mixture led to the formation of the modern Iranian groups we know today. So none of the ancient Eastern Iranics nor the uh, Western Iranics can be considered to be Nordic with the exception of the Scythians but they had minor East Asian, they had 20 to 50 percent East Asian ancestry and the Sarmatians. Both of those groups were Nordics but the remainder groups were not Nordics and did not ha and had significant BMAC uh, ancestry. These include the Khwarezmians, the Sogdians, the Bactrians, the Aryans, the Persians, the Medians as well as the party and so yeah that's all i wanted to say in this video and please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching and take care